That's disappointing, man. Uh, both of them at the end of their careers. Um, Anderson Silva would have a better shot in a boxing match against Roy Jones Jr. than McGregor would in fighting uh, Floyd Mayweather Jr. I mean, for obvious reasons. Uh, Sugar Ray's, or not Sugar Ray, um, Roy Jones is older. Roy Jones has lost more steps. Uh, Anderson Silva is a better boxer, I think, than Conor McGregor. I think most people would agree with that. Anderson Silva used to knock cats out now in the UFC. So he's a better boxer than Conor McGregor. So I think that would be a more competitive fight. But that still falls into the sham category as well. From Sandman, the same people who think McGregor has a chance to win are the same people who voted for Donald Trump. Yeah, that's, that's, that's probably very accurate. Um, from Fail Pay. This would be the movie Great White Hype. Floyd going to beg on white folks rooting for McGregor. Oh, yeah, but that's that's exactly what we're talking about. When when Sandman says the same people, the same people that are going to think that McGregor got a shot at the same people that voted for Donald Trump. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about a large white base of sports fans that want to see Conor McGregor, even though he's not from the U.S., which is something that always bothered me as well. You remember when McGregor or, or when Floyd fought Ricky Hatton? Like, like you ask most sports fans, and you can kind of tell by the, by, the, by the commentary on TV and on radio, like analysts were, were kind of rooting against Floyd. Wait a minute, what about patriotism? <laughs> Floyd's from America. You might not like him, but he's from America. Why the fuck are you rooting for Ricky Hatton? <laughs> But it'll be the same thing. It'll be the same thing. Let's keep it real. People that hate Floyd Mayweather Jr. and his attitude and his uh, personality and his swagger, many of which are the same people that voted for Donald Trump, are going to be rooting and praying to baby Jesus. They're going to be praying that Conor McGregor somehow lands a haymaker right on the chin of Floyd Mayweather Jr., and knocks his black ass out. That's what a lot of people are praying for. That shit ain't going to happen. <laughs> that ain't going to happen. That ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. But that's what people are going to be praying for. They're going to be praying for Floyd to be shut up. Oh, he! I just want to see somebody shut him up, which is silly in itself. Uh, Floyd's a promoter. That's what you do in boxing. You promote by talking trash and saying something outlandish and being a line stepper. Floyd's been promoting fights ever since he was in a, 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 a three years old. Okay? It, the Floyd Mayweather Jr. that says all these outlandish things, it in the real Floyd Mayweather Jr. The man's promoting. The man's a businessman. He infuriates a lot of y'all, and y'all go out and wish to, uh, wish to see him get knocked on his ass. That's what he does is promotion. Stop it. That's why this fight's going to be one of the biggest fights of all times, one of the biggest purses of all times. From KC, exactly, LD, McGregor will make more money in one night fighting Floyd than he made his whole life combined. Exactly. Um, from the OK Sigma, the fight, would, the fight would year or tear, I guess he's saying, the fight would tear America apart. Yeah. Same rooting lines as the Mike Vick story. Let's keep it real. Same, same thing, S- the same polarizing conversation that you had with the Mike Vick thing. You know, black America wanted the man, you know, to, to, to be able to redeem himself. A lot of white America just wanted to write him off. You know, don't let him work anywhere. <laughs> you know, uh, he, he can never recover from this. Same thing with this Joe Mixon thing. Let's be honest about it. A lot of the conversation is a lot of white America are just so offended that a guy that could hit a white woman and work again and can play football and make millions of dollars, a lot of black America, myself included, say that the man made a mistake, never been in trouble before. Can you let the man live? Give him a second opportunity? He's never done it before. If he does it again, okay, so be it. And we'll go from there. You know, so a lot of these things do go along racial lines. It is. And that's exactly what this thing is going to be built up to be with McGregor and Mayweather. Oh, the mean, obtrusive, outlandish, ish-talking black guy. 
Oh, I want to see him get his ass kicked by uh, Conor McGregor. Oh, great Irish guy, even though he ain't from America. Where's he from? Is he from Indiana? Is he from Tennessee? Is he from Kentucky? You know, maybe you'd have a little bit more of an argument if that were the case. But no, the man's from freaking Ireland. Why the hell, you know, would you openly and outright root for, some, uh, root for somebody else from someplace else against an American? And that used to be a big part. It's, it's way less than it was when I was growing up. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. My, my, my boy, uh, Noy Bramble, can probably comment on this as well. Um, like, there was always, and I guess it may be because it was a, more of an influence with the Olympics, like boxing was bigger than the Olympics, but it was always the American fighter versus so-and-so fighter from the Soviet Union or so-and-so fighter from Ireland or so-and-so fighter from, from, from wherever in the UK. And it was kind of like this patriotic type thing with boxing. Nah, nah. Americans want to see Manny Pacquiao beat Floyd Mayweather Jr. Americans want <laughs> Americans want to see, you know, uh, Ricky Hatton beat Floyd Mayweather Jr. You know, so it's much less a, 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 a degree of the conversation about him being from America and you rooting for America. Maybe an American guy is an a-hole, you know, but you don't root for somebody else from somewhere else. What, the, what is that all about? But that's clearly the case. <laughs> clearly the case. Clearly the case. Clearly the case. I, like, I never remember. Maybe I was just young and I don't, uh, I, I, I wouldn't, you know, in tune with what really was going on. But, like, I don't remember ever an American boxer. He could have been black, green, orange, or yellow. I can't ever remember fans, fight fans in America back in the 80s rooting for somebody else from somewhere else. Like, I don't remember... Uh, uh, Alexis Aguilo. I don't remember Americans rooting for Alexis Aguilo to beat any black fighter from America. I, I just don't remember that. Tell me if I'm wrong. I don't remember that. You know, you know, maybe you, you know, you got a problem with so and so, but he's American, so we rooting for him. We couldn't root for Alexis Aguilo, or we can't root for whatever fighter from a, 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 some other country. They're good fighters, and we like watching them fight, but we we rooting for the American guy, even though he's black. <laughs> Not today. No. 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 <laughs> oh, my gosh. That Ricky Hatton fight, the Floyd Mayweather-Ricky Hatton fight, man, it was crazy. It was crazy how dominant the fan base was in that arena, man, in Vegas, uh, rooting for Hatton to win. Americans, too. White Americans, let's keep it real. White Americans wanted Hatton to win that fight. And Floyd, as he'll do the same thing against this McGregor kid, commenced to kicking his ass. I'm Sidney Jackson. This is a Jack Jenkins versus Kirk Patrick all over again. Harlem Knights from uh, Big Apple Bastard. White America adapted De La Hoya that night he fought Mayweather. Well, De La Hoya is from America. I mean, so same type of thing. Um, let's see. From uh, Duncan and Dodge, Floyd is an unlikable person. Yeah, plenty of people will root for him. Mm, I think many boxers in the past, based on them being promoters, were unlikable, quote-unquote unlikable. That didn't stop you from rooting for them against somebody from somewhere else. Um, from Sandman, the coach Noah, that's why I said that's the only thing he, he'll he be famous for. I don't remember him fighting in the States before the Sharia Mitchell fights. From T-Dub, but her um, dub ski, I rooted for Frank Bruno to beat Tyson. You rooted for Bruno to beat Tyson? You rooted for Frank Bruno to beat Mike Tyson? Why? <laughs> Why? What's the uh, what's the tie to Frank Bruno? And Frank Bruno, I think, is from Jamaica. I think maybe he was a Jamaican boxer or whatever. Let me see where the great Frank Bruno hails from. 
No. Back during that time, the conversation surrounding um, uh, oh no, Bruno's from London. Bruno's from London. And you didn't you didn't root for no damn Frank Bruno to beat no Mike Tyson. Why? Back during that time, you may not have liked Tyson, but what you wanted to see was Tyson knock somebody to f out. You didn't root for no damn Frank Bruno to beat Mike Tyson. Stop that. From Val Pay, let's be honest. Floyd got a lot of money and he flaunts it. People don't like it, but rich folks like Trump flaunt their money by purchasing private planes and people still love them. That's a good comparison. That's a good point. From uh, Coach Noy Bramble, 9-0, America never accepted Linux. That's a very good point. That makes my point. Linux Lewis, Linux Lewis, even though, where did he train at? He trained in uh, Canada or something like that, I believe. But Lennox Lewis, when he fought against the heavyweight, the American heavyweights, people still went for the American heavyweights. They did. You know, Lennox Lewis was, I mean, he was a good boxer, but he wasn't an American. That's a very good point. Um, from Duncan and Josh and Floyd is repping himself, not the USA. What does that mean? <laughs> For Miss Mocha Bella, England, Jamaica, same thing for Doug. No, I think Lennox Lewis is Jamaican. I think he was born. And let me look this up. I can look that up real quick. Lennox Lewis, the great Lennox Lewis. I think he was born in Jamaica, but he trained in Canada or something like that. Make sure. Um, born in London, England. He was born in London, England. And uh, I, get, I think he fought out of Canada. But I think Lennox Lewis is actually Jamaican. Let me see. First uh, boxing, European British Commonwealth. Uh, Lewis was and uh, Lewis was born. No, he was born in London. Oh, his parents are Jamaican. That's where the Jamaican comes from. He was born in London, England, to Jamaican parents. So I knew it was some type of Jamaican tie there. But yeah, when Lennox Lewis fought, even though he was a champ, when he fought here in America, and he fought against an American, um, whether that be. Um, Tyson, uh, Evander Holyfield, um, whoever it was, Tommy Morrison. <laughs> I'm looking at these fights that he had. Oliver McCall. Nobody was rooting for Lennox Lewis. He was nobody was rooting for Lennox Lewis. No, even when he fought Hasim Rockman, I think people Americans were rooting for Hasim Rockman because Lennox Lewis was in our minds. He was from Canada or London or someplace else. So why is it different for? You know, um, or or why is it different nowadays for Floyd? People just want to see Floyd lose or whatever. Tyson, a lot of people didn't like Tyson, but you wanted Tyson to win. I don't think T Dub was was uh, was being truthful when he said that uh, he was rooting for against against Mike Tyson when he fought Frank Bruno. I don't believe that for a minute. Barbershop Sports Talk podcast. Yes, Uncle Mike. He may have family Jamaican, but England and Jamaica have ties to each other. Um, from Jay Fish Microwave, his parents Jamaican, then he Jamaican, right? His parents Jamaican, he's Jamaican. He wasn't born in Jamaica, but he's he's Jamaican, right? Um, from Coach Noy Bramble, exactly barbershop. From T Dub, but to hear Dubsky, I rooted most of the time against Tyson, just my choice. Why you root against Tyson, man? Tyson is my favorite of all times. <laughs> You know what I find, man? I find that I like the rebel. I like the guy that America, and I'm doing the little quote marks in the air, like I, I, I rooted extra for the cat that America loved to hate. Like like I always rooted for the, the, the quote unquote, if you ask Americans, the bad guy. Like I rooted for Mike Vick, bad guy. I rooted for Allen Iverson, bad guy supposedly. And Mike Tyson was the baddest of the bad guys ever, you know. Unfairly, I think these guys got labeled "quote unquote" bad guys. So I found myself rooting for them. You know, whoever America hated, that's who I rooted for. That's just me. That's just how I did it. When Tupac was around, he wanted to raise the nation of thugs. But uh, I think it's only right for me to raise the nation of thugs. Yeah. Frank Cole, Ernest Jets, Oscar Cooper, 
All right, we got to get out of here.